All right, this is the harmonic minor scale lesson number three. Uh, this is actually going to be broken up into two videos. Uh, so you're going to have to look at that. There should be a link on this video um, to the next one. Uh, you can also find all of the lessons at markweenguitarlessons.com. M-A-R-K-W-E-I-N uh, guitarlessons.com. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this harmonic minor scale we've been working on in the previous lessons. And we're going to uh, learn some of the guide tones for a minor blues uh, in the style of B.B. King. And we're going to use our harmonic minor scale in a way that you're probably not used to hearing it, which is over, over blues song. Uh, the minor blues progression, um, once again, I've got a lesson for that. Uh, the printable part of this has the chord progression on it. Uh, you can find it on the website. Um, but what I'm going to do here is, first of all, we're going to go through the harmonic minor scale in the seventh position that we're going to be using. Uh, and then I'm going to give you the arpeggios, or the, all the chord tones, for the four chords. And then uh, the second half of this uh, is going to be the solo with the backing track. And the backing track is also going to be downloadable uh, on the website. All right, so first thing is the harmonic minor scale in the key of B. Um, we're going to be uh, playing the 7th, ninth, and 10th frets on the 6th string. And then 7, 9, and 10 on the 5th string. 8, 9 on the 4th, 6, 7, 9 on the 3rd, uh, 7, 8 on the 2nd string, and then on the 1st we're going to go 6, 7, 9, and 10. And that's kind of quick. Um, if you uh, haven't caught the other lessons we've done, uh, go back and catch the other harmonic minor scale ones. You've got this scale fingering in there. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that you have it uh, available for you here, just so you know what, what I'm working out of. All right, now the first thing is there's going to be four chords in this, uh, this song. There's going to be a B minor chord, an E minor chord, a G major, and an F sharp major. So here are our chord tones for each of those four chords, are the notes that actually make up the chord. Now what we're going to do in the solo, we're going to use these as uh, target notes. So that way when you're playing, you can actually look or head towards notes that, that work in the chord, that are part of the chord. Uh, and that's going to give your solo line uh, a little bit more connection to what you're playing over. All right, so our B minor, we're starting here on the B, 7th fret, 6th uh, string. We're going 7, 10 on that string. And then the ninth fret on the 5th and 4th strings. And then the 7th fret on the... Uh, third, second, first strings, and then we have one more note here, the, uh, um, the tenth fret on the first string. All right. This note here, uh, on a lot of the solo, we're going to play it here, up at the twelfth fret, second string. So it sounds a little bit fuller than... Uh, just depends on what you're going for. So that's the B minor. The E minor chord, uh, we're going to start on the 5th string, 7th fret, 7 and 9 on that 5th string. Then we've got the ninth fret on the 4th and then 3rd strings. 8th fret on the 2nd string. The 7th uh, uh, fret on the 1st string. And then we're also adding, um, you've got your... 10th uh, fret and even 12th fret on the uh, on the first string, which aren't necessarily written into the the printed part of the lesson, but it's good to know that they're there. All right, so that's the the B minor and the E minor chords. Uh, now the G major, um, this is actually going to be kind of like your C open C shape down here. We're going to start on the 10th fret, fifth string. That right there is the G. All right, and then we're going to be playing um, the seventh, uh, ninth fret on the fourth string, the seventh fret on the third string, the uh, uh, eighth fret on the second string, and then seven and ten here on the first string. Um, no, also, uh, just for the sake of, of being uh, complete, we also have the 7th and 10th frets on the 6th string below the root. Now 
Now for the F sharp major, we're just taking that same idea and moving it down a fret. So you're going to have the um, ninth fret on the fifth string, the eighth fret on the fourth string, sixth fret on the uh, third string, your seventh fret on the second string, and then six and nine on the uh, on the first string. And just like the other one, you got the sixth and ninth frets on the um, uh, on the sixth string before returning to the root. Now, the idea here is that it's you know we call it a harmonic minor scale lesson, but we're actually going to be using these chord tones, especially the G major and the F sharp major arpeggios, to get that harmonic minor sc scale sound. Uh, and we're going to be doing that at the points uh, within the, the uh, chord progression or within the, the song where we have those chords. We're just outlining them really to bring that flavor out. So it's, it's a little bit different than if we were just playing this harmonic minor scale over uh, a static like a B minor chord that's just... You know, that sort of thing. Um, we're just really trying to outline the chords and, and in doing that you're going to get that, that harmonic minor flavor. Alright, so the next uh, lesson is going to be a separate video, uh, and it's going to have the backing track and the solo, the application of these little bits that we've actually worked our way through. Um, just for general information, uh, the B.B. King song that this is patterned after is The Thrill Is Gone. <laughs>